Uh, I will tell you that I will probably be the most stunned person that this gentleman was found alive. Uh, yesterday, uh, John Schilling, 65 years old from Ohio, uh, wandered into the woods to go hunting. And about six hours into his hunt, he called his cousin and said, hey, I think I'm lost. Uh, they then notified law enforcement. Edgewater police first came down here to start a search. They then notified the Lucy County Sheriff's Office, Lucy County Fire Department, DOC was out here, but most importantly, FWC came out in droves. And probably about 30 minutes ago, FWC located him. He was safe, and they're trying to get him out of where he's at now and get him to the hospital. And I have to tell you, as you look around here, all of these folks are the reason that that man's alive today, plus Air One. So I'm gonna let the captain, because it's his guys that found him, and he brought all these resources in, I'm gonna let the captain. All right, Captain. First, I'd like to say this was a great team effort between uh, state and local agencies were able to uh, successfully locate an individual that had been missing in the woods overnight and it turned out to be a, a great successful story uh, with everybody involved. How were you finally able to locate him? Uh, we had some officers that were um, looking in an area and they noticed some some bushes that had been looked like someone had laid in them is what they described to us and so we were able to deploy a canine unit to that area and uh, through the canine unit they were able to locate the individual out in the woods. What were some of the challenges you faced? Because we had heard earlier that obviously even some of the helicopters couldn't see through the brush. We were dealing with very thick canopy to where the helicopters could not see anything that was on the ground. They couldn't see our officers even though they knew that they were down there. Um, we had to deal with very, very thick woods, a lot of thick brush. Uh, obviously, we, it was an overnight search, so we had to deal with the elements, the heat. It was a, it was a, a, a rough effort. What did the hunters say to the, uh, the people who found the searchers at the I haven't I haven't gotten any of those details yet. Um, I'm sure he's pretty pretty happy to be uh, be heading out by this point though. What was he, he like? Was... Oh, I'm sorry. 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 How was he? Like, was he lying down? Was he dehydrated? Uh, from what I understand, he stood up when mm -hmm. our officers got near. So uh, I'm assuming he may have heard them coming and, mm -hmm. and stood up and was able to get their attention mm -hmm. and uh, was able to get out. But he's he's walking out on his own, uh, from what I understand, and he's uh, going to get some medical medical attention. Do you don't know what kind of supplies he had with him? No, we found some wrappers from some Kool-Aid that he may have been drinking, um, but other than that, we don't know. And where, where was it? North, south, east, or west of here? It was, it was northwest of here, um, about a half a mile from the, um, I, I guess it's the uh, Florida Estates subdivision, back in there off of Northwest 30, or 35th Street. And about how far were, from where he first wandered in? It was about two miles. He traveled about two, two miles through the woods. That where to he went in. Just show you how confusing and hard it can get. It, it can get very confusing, especially in the dark, especially at night when it's real thick. It's very difficult to see your way through. So it can get it can get pretty tough if you're not um, if you don't understand. And a lot of a mistake a lot of people make is they move around. So we encourage people if you get lost in the woods, find an open spot, open canopy where you can see the sky and hunker down. And uh, your opinion of this whole group and the effort? Uh, it's an amazing team effort. Um, without all all the partners that you have here, it couldn't have been done. So it was a, it was a great